You want to become a wizard? You come here. So we just got into New Orleans late last night. We decided to walk over here. This was like a two minute walk from our hotel. This is Charity Hospital. This is one of the most famous hospitals. It's abandoned and it was shut down years ago after Hurricane Katrina. All the patients in here had to be evacuated and they were never let back in. The reason this is one of the most famous hospitals is because it has things like dead bodies in there, hearts in jars and stuff like that. But this is like one of the most infamous places and it's so hard to get in because there's actually guys with guns who guard this place because of all the stuff that's inside. We're at the theater now and there's actually no trespassing allowed here. But we have permission from the owner. We're gonna go check it out now. Cirque de Freak and Now You See Me were filmed in here. That is crazy. This is the theater. Whoa. This is awesome. Dude, this is huge. Oh my god. Oh, this is amazing. I remember seeing this and now you see me. Yeah, I do. This is the stage that they they did a uh, show at. Yeah. So now you see me after perform and break this. That's awesome. We're here at this theater and when we walk by, it just looked very abandoned and the door was wide open. So we just walked right in and we actually saw the owner here. He was just like working on this place and we asked him if we could film here. He's like, yeah, sure, come on. So we, he's letting us in here just to take pictures and stuff and it's like, it's like this theater that they use for movies like uh, Now You See Me, Terminator, and there's a bunch more I forgot right now, but there's a ton of them. And uh, they're all filmed right here at this theater. None of us were expecting to see any abandoned buildings today. We're actually just gonna be walking around the French Quarter, but we just happened to come in here and find this place, so we figured why not? It's just like that motel that we went to. I mean, why not? Look at this chandelier right here. That is amazing. Can't believe that we're in this opera theater. I've n I remember seeing this and now you see me. It, and it was such a cool scene, especially looking out from the stage out at the theater right there. Right now I'm just using my phone as a flashlight, so hopefully it's not too dark in here. I was not prepared. You can hear that the owner is currently working on this place. There's no power in this uh, building after Hurricane Katrina, he said. So they have to use generators in this building in order to uh, get lights and power tools working. I'm on the bottom floor now. This is so crazy. We're just seeing all kinds of movie sets lately. So this is the bottom row of chairs. Look at that. This is one grand theater. I love how the ceiling is made too. Look at that architecture. Hopefully you can hear me over the generator here. Wow. This goes up really high. So this ladder right here, it's, it looks like this is how you get up to the top floors. Take this ladder, then that ladder, then that ladder. The owner here is so kind to let us in here as he's working on it. He said we caught him at a great time because he's never here. Whoa! Look at that! He just turned on his light for us. Oh my god. That's amazing! Right now I'm standing on the actual stage that they shot a ton of movies on. I mean, this is the opera theater used in so many movies. And looking out here, there's only one single light that he just turned on for us. This is a giant chandelier. I mean, this is such an amazing opportunity that we just walked into. We just happened to walk off the streets into this building and find this guy. I mean, this is crazy.
walking around the lowest state theater. That's where all these movies were filmed at, in this location. And we get to just walk around in here with the lights on. It would have been so cool to come here to actually watch something. I mean, when you're here with like so many people watching something on a grand scale, it just adds to it. This must be the concession stand back here as well. Yeah, Coca-Cola. Holy crap. <laughs> Somehow I just came out onto the roof. This must be the sign for the lowest theater. Wow. Can't believe I'm just standing here on the roof of this place. Never thought I'd be in here. This hole, you can see the back of the stage. Very dimly, but you can see it. This looks like a hair and makeup room because of, there'd probably be a bunch of seats right here in front of each mirror and they get their hair, makeup done. So we just came up to the top balcony, the one that's right above this. So we're the highest that we can get. And this is so cool. Look at that view. So these are the old, old projectors. Look at these yeah. things. They would shoot through this hole down to a screen on the theater. And I can't believe how big these projectors are too. They're so big, they're taller than us. Uh-huh, they're massive. Look what's inside. Oh, look at all the film strip. I know, I found one too. This is all the film strip of movies they would play here. That is so cool. And now I stand out in the galleys right to board. Come here, get over here. So when I think of New Orleans, this is pretty much what I think of. There's buildings like this with tons and tons of plants and uh, trees growing around it. What are you guys looking at? Awesome ass. Look at this. <laughs> I like it. I love it. Ooh, look at that. Oh, shit. That's serious. So we each got masks, but it's got the gesture going on. Oh, dude, that is John sick. Like that is so sick. Oh. You look at one of those like insane clown things. That <laughs> you don't talk about, right? I know. Yeah, I know you're talking about. <laughs> That's dope. That is dope. Yeah. I like it. I dig it. I just got some masks here. Uh, I got a mask that's a cool little, uh, little clown guy. These guys got fox masks. They said it's because they're Asian. <laughs> We're gonna ship these masks home so they don't break over the next two months. This is but, so uh, dope, man. I thought it was a pretty cool souvenir. I never really buy souvenirs, so. Yeah, I mean, you gotta get some of new I just love how New Orleans looks. It's got this cool French style that you don't see anywhere else, or in America at least. Here's a sword, by the way. It's a sick sword. Oh, 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 that sword is awesome. Holy, nice. Holy dude. Holy can you walk around with swords on a daily basis? And yeah, all, I wanna be a gypsy now. I wanna walk with a sword. Dude, what does it take to be a gypsy, though? Uh, travel, um, knowledge of the universe, um, tarot, a lot of bunch of different things, lots of skills, lots of aspects. Well, only in New Orleans can you walk around like this and not get in trouble. Like this is a full on metal sword. And I'm just walking around in public with this thing. Yeah, I'm yeah. stonemason. I, I rebuild a lot of the cemeteries and stuff. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of times we'll go in, we'll fix stuff, and two will just be wide the fuck over because somebody's came and robbed That's the body. Crazy. And there's Shit. nothing in there that they yeah, want yeah. besides the body. Yeah, yeah, the body. Do shit yeah besides the yeah, yeah. body, do shit with, man. That's insane, yo. It's getting dark here in New Orleans, and uh, everyone's starting to come out. All the streets are starting to get crowded, and we're gonna go hit the town. Do that again, Josh? If you want to become a wizard, you come here. Ah. So this is the wizard shop. 